Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. My name is Samuel E. Molombe. For those that are seeing me for the very first time, if this is your first time on this platform, thank you. If it's your first time on this channel, you are super amazing. God bless you. The Lord ordered your steps here. You didn't just come to this platform by chance. I believe that there is a word for you today. Amen. The Lord says that this relative of yours has pinned you down. This relative of yours has pinned you down. There is someone I saw in the realms of the spirit A caught connecting you with someone else. And I'm looking at this as a blood link or a biological connection, either your cousin or your relative. There's somebody that's a relative. And growing up, I see a situation where there has been some kind of competition, comparison, and this person got, you know, super jealous of how gifted you are as a person. Please, I need you to listen very carefully to this prophetic word because there are lots of people that are connected on this platform. And you must listen for specifics and you must set your spirit to know if this word is actually for you before you jump into conclusion. So I see this person fighting with you and it, it's been secretly uh, um, um, very challenging for you to live with this person up until the time you've gone together and the fight has never stopped. I saw in the scripture Esau and Jacob. The Bible tells us that Rebecca, who, that, which was their mom, had um, you know, some troubling in her womb when she was pregnant went to inquire of the Lord and they said, two nations are in your womb and the older will serve the younger. Family, we see that Esau is born and Jacob is born holding onto the, you know, the feet of Esau. Kind of like... <laughs> and then they come out and it's a, it's a story of rivalry, compared competition, it's a story of who needs the blessing. You see Rebecca trying to help Jacob get the blessing and Esau working so hard, working his life off to get the blessing. And then at the end of that story, Jacob literally stole the blessing that belonged to Esau. Although there was a prophecy, but physically he stole. And the Lord, as, as I heard this prophetic word, I remember this story. And that is similar to what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. There's somebody that actually is in deep competition with you. The Lord says you are the chosen one. The Lord says you've been selected from birth to be all that you are and more. The Lord says you are born with a glorious destiny and there's nothing that anyone can do about it. Everyone that tries to fight you is fighting God himself. He's trying to make enmity with the one that graced you. If you did not grace yourself, then nobody can disgrace you because the one who graced you is constantly watching to ensure that what he has done over your life is permanent. So the, the Lord is saying that although sometimes the battle is fierce and the jealousy is intense, do not fear. Do not fear because you did not grace yourself. Understand that there is a God that sees in secret that will reward you. That will publicly announce you. You see, in the days of Jesus, there were criticism that were, you know, that get it at his person. But a voice spoke from heaven and said, This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Family understand that Jesus wasn't the only man of God in his days. There were many other people that were serving the Lord in the capacity of a priest. But there was a divine distinction. Glory to God. There is about to be a divine distinction between you and that relative of yours that have always tried to compete and compare with you. There's about to be a divine distinction. God is about to set a distinctive mark that everyone that sees you will know that you are the favored one. This word brings excitement to my spirit. And I hope it should you if you are connected to this word and if God is speaking to you. You should be excited. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm praying that everyone that has made it their life's mission to attack you and bring you down, may the God that graced you speak for you 
in the name of Jesus. Now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine on you, be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Do you receive the word with gladness? I love you. Shalom.